In this video, we're going to take a look at how to insulate interior walls to dampen sound. Let's get started. According to stcratings.com, by adding the fiberglass insulation behind the wallboard, it is it clearly reduces the sound transmission by as much as 4 to 6 dB. However, stcratings.com wasn't clear as to whether specialized sound dampening insulation was more beneficial than regular insulation you can pick up at a local hardware store. National Gypsum supplied our studio project with the sound break, the purple wallboard you see in the background. Against the wall we've stacked the two insulations we decided to use and test in our particular studio installation project. <clears throat> However, National Gypsum in their own labs tested all the major brands of fiberglass and various insulation and said they all performed basically the same. So on your left is the Johns Manville and on the right is Owens Corning Pink. Both examples, the left and right, have the exact same R value. Now according to stcratings.com, to improve the sound dampening characteristics of a wall assembly, when you put an insulation behind the soundboard or the wallboard, that's going to improve the sound dampening characteristics of that wall assembly. And it said either the density or the width. So you'll notice on the right the Owens Corning pink is a little wider but it didn't feel quite as heavy to the touch in the hand as the John Manville does on the left which is considerably not as fluffy. The paper quality of the John's Manville in our opinion uh, was not as uh, high quality as the paper quality of the Owens Corning pink so that's why we selected that as our choice in our project. If you find information like this valuable and want to support our channel, there's an information button at the top right of your video screen. Simply scroll over and click on it. Also, for more information on these products, click the links below the video and please subscribe to the channel. The button's there as well. Thank you.